Miss Miss Ma'am. No, no, Ms. come Ma on, please, come on, man, please. No, come I, I on, need man, you please. To, I need please. you to be kind oh, and respectful please. to my oh, to my man. guests. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, um, where that pig poker at, man? Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and get the pig poker out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't do nothing for that. Oh, that's... Oh, 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 wait a minute. Miss Runner. Miss, Miss Runner. Miss. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Chains. Today, we're talking about Brittany Renner. If you want to like and subscribe after watching this video, please do. And we are also working our way towards the PC soundboard. So you can donate if you would like. All right, let's get right on into this video. Shout out to the Dangza Project. They originally had this video up live stream, but... They're gonna. They obviously took it down so they could, because what you don't want to happen is if you put up a live stream that's gonna get a lot of views, you don't want people to clip it. So you, they took it down so they could clip it themselves, and I'm sure they'll put it back up here, in probably about a week or two. But first, you gotta get, you know, gotta get your views. All right. So let's start from the top. I'll explain what's going on. They ask a question about PJ, and then Brittany goes on this little bit of a rant. So let's start here. <laughs> Wait, Does time out. It's group. Hold my, on. My changed, but Hold yeah, on. No. <laughs> Answer the motherfucking question. No, it didn't initially. No, hell no. Okay, I had a second degree tear. That means they sewed me up. Yeah, okay. Uh, right. You know what that means? It means I love that motherfucker. My pussy was fucking split open for him. Right. You understand that? He was almost nine pounds. Mm, big one. Okay. Gratefully, I had a five pound baby. Good for you. Yes, My yes. baby was almost nine pounds. Big boy. Okay? Yeah. And that's just what it is. All right. So she's talking about a second degree tear from her vagina when they asked her about PJ Washington getting his money. Right. Because y'all know he resigned. And so the, she's going off about having this baby in her vagina being ripped a second degree tear, which if uh, I explain it to you just for you people who don't know. So you have your vagina. Right. And it, so it can tear like you see where this finger is. My second finger right here. It tears down there. So you here's your vagina, and it rips down in this area. So it kind of splits it open a little bit. Um, a fourth degree tear would be splitting all the way from the vagina down to the uh, rectum area. So just for you guys to know. And so that's what she's going off about. I obviously have some things to say. Give me a second. No, I wanted to say that because I think it is important. A lot of people do. What's important? That you do wish well for. Uh, most, most, most. Here's the thing. Let me, t let me just tell you. You and every one of the motherfuckers that are commenting, she's doing too much. She's, she ain't. At the end of the day, <laughs> this pussy <laughs> had a second degree tear. Do you know what that means? Uh, you just taught us. Ripped. What is it? <laughs> Ripped. Thank you, Charleston. It sounds, it sounds like she's under the influence. The fact that she repeated that question again. But hold on. See, this is the, my problem um, and what some people have a problem with Brittany. Brittany, as I, I made this video yesterday when I said, guys, we need to grow up. She's 31 now. And it's, at, at some point, she's still talking about her vagina like 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 a little kid. This pussy. And she throws her legs up. And you're going to see later. I'm going to show you guys more to show you that she hasn't quite started to grow up. She's got a kid. She's a mother. And she's still acting like this weirdo, you know? Um and for her to be talking about her vagina being ripped for a baby, that does happen. But what does that have to do with PJ? You know, th that's about the baby. Don't don't make it seem like you having the baby was just the craziest thing. And you having a tear. Man, you love him. It's just it feels like you value your vagina so much more than you value. P I mean, not PJ, but the uh, the son. That's just my opinion, man. I, I don't feel like you have to make it seem like because when parents do that and they talk about their kids like that, like, did you know I did this and I had a C-section for you and all that? It's like, and I mean, at the end of the day, don't make the child feel bad for being born. You're almost making it seem like I only had you because I love your father. Don't get it twisted. If I didn't love your father, you'd be gone. I mean, that's just a bad attitude for a child to hear. Um, let's continue. Uh, it gets a lot crazier from this point, and this is where Brittany kind of goes off the hinges. Fucking second degree tear. Hello. She's still going off about it. Hello. He didn't mean oh, it. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey. 
You don't know what it's fucking like. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I meant to hit this nigga. Wrong guy, wrong guy. Let me tell you wrong something. Guy, champ. Wrong guy, Shut the fuck up. This right here is about to go. Let me tell you something. She's about to say it's about to go viral Shut or about to go south. Talking. Yo, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. I meant to hit that nigga. Because you sitting over here laughing. Alright, right, chill, 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 chill. So relax, relax. I ain't relax, chilling. Relax, relax. Because at the end of the day, it ain't your right. pussy. Hey, listen, I hear you. Hey, listen, that's fine. But guess what? Hey, listen, that's fine. But guess so, what? what you're hearing in the background, just to, we'll keep this going. What we're hearing in the background, just to show you guys, that's not the first time she threw a water bottle. She threw it twice. Shut the fuck up! Oh shit! Shut up! Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. That's peripherals. Shut up. That's and that, and this is what happens when, when she, she gets up and throws, it in, throws another love water bottle. To where you have a motherfucking second degree tear? Hello? Mm. Wait, 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 wait. No. He didn't mean it. Hello? He didn't mean oh. it. Guys, listen, listen here. That would have got you off the show. I know some of these people, and that's why the man in the background is being so like, uh, lady, you need to chill out. He said, I ain't a part of this. You over here throwing water bottles at me. I ain't a part of this content BS. I ain't a part. I ain't trying to get no views. I'm here for. It's pr apparently Charlton White's uh, Charles uh, friend in the background. So he's like, I'm here for Charles. You doing all this water bottle? You need to chill. And I agree. This whole content stuff, and that's why I say I understand that us content creators are trying to be um, entertaining. Obviously, I've done wild things on camera, but the problem is, is one, I never try to be violent, and it's I, I'm the only one in my videos obviously and so if i had somebody else here there's no way i would let somebody throw a water bottle or hit me with a water bottle throw a water bottle on one of my people in the back it's just like that would get you taken off the show i don't care who you are i don't care how viral this can go but i understand content creators are trying to make their bread and it'd be kind of foolish i get it i get it would i let it go on no because i try to run a tight ship these days back in the day maybe you catch a couple of my live streams back in the day hey, hey look <laughs> hey i know okay but Today, it just seems like I, I told you guys I started going through where, you know, at some point I felt like I had to grow up, especially after my son. Well, at, probably about a year before my son was born and then I, you know, started to make those changes. But nonetheless, the disrespect that she is saying to these people, listen, I don't understand. And I know some of you guys disagree with this, but when a woman talks to a man in such a manner, like if Charleston was telling somebody, shut the fuck up, bitch, there'd be a problem. If Charlton starts saying all that stuff to somebody Or if the host started saying that And started talking like this We'd have an issue right Shit. I want y'all to hear her You don't know what it's fucking like <laughs> right, chill, I want y'all to hear chill, some chill, of this chill, chill. Relax, relax, I ain't relax. chilling relax, relax. Because at the end of the day It ain't your pussy Hey listen The vulgarness is ridiculous Come on DJ Hey listen that's fine But guess what you protecting him is what it is Is it not is it not? <laughs> is it not? She hit the wrong nigga. Hey, child. don't be sitting over there laughing. Let me tell you, I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking to him right here. I ain't talking to me. Uh, then bat me in my shit then. Chap, she cool. Bat me in my shit. You see how she's talking? She's talking reckless. She is talking absolutely reckless. I don't understand this disrespect towards men because we know if any of these three men had said anything Britney did, it'd be a fight. But she knows she's protected. So she says foolish stuff like that. Bat me in my shit. And then she's going to call him a word that will obviously start a fight anywhere else. Bat me in my shit. That all right, you see all that? The disrespect, guys. Apologies, champ. At the end of the day, all right, I don't give a fuck you're talking about lady. I don't care. At the end of the day, Nobody knows what I went through. Nobody knows what I'm going through. Brittany, come on. You are not the first person to have complications with a baby. You're not the first person to have the vagina whip. Brittany, you're not the first person to go through something with a baby. There's people who have gone through far worse when it comes to having a baby. And it just seems like you cannot let this thing go. They ask you a simple question. Did you, would you, did you enjoy your baby's father getting a new contract? But you're going off about having your vagina ripped and being a hopeless romantic and oh, I loved him so much and all this. She says at the beginning of this thing, if you want to go watch it, she says, this is true love. It's like, Brittany, look at how you're talking to him. You want, I'm sorry. It's hard for me to believe that you were talking to PJ Nice, right? 
any woman who goes off and talks to men like this, who says, shut up, shut the fuck up, shut up, bitch, bat me and my shit. Anybody who's talking like that to a man, I just don't believe that they are truly, this is who they are really. Because if you can say that kind of stuff to men you don't know, what are you going to say to men you do know? So I don't feel like she was, I don't know this, but I don't feel like she was talking to PJ in a way that he would have been respected. There may have been reason not just leaving her because he didn't like her like that, but he could have been like, you know, dude, she's disrespectful behind the scenes. And I don't know. She called me this. She called me that. She told me to shut up and I'm gone. So nobody, you, him, 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 whoever the fuck, you don't get to sit here and talk about shit. Ain't nobody drunk bitch talking about nothing. What's up? What's up? See, what's up? Like, that is, you're talking from a position, and let's be honest, this is a position of power. This is a position of power for her to get up and say, what's up there? Because if that was a guy, because we saw Charleston do it when he was going to fight Prime on Aiden Ross's live stream. You hear two men when they start hearing what's up? Now, I understand. Like, me personally, you only fight if you absolutely got to. I'm not going to start nothing. I'm not going to try to keep things going. But things do get heated. In between two men, if you start saying what's up, it'd be like, well, I mean, what you want to do about it? You know? I mean, what you want to do about it? Now, obviously, men have to be smart because somebody pulls out a gun, somebody... Uh, punches you in the face and you you're knocks you out and your head cracks on top of that glass table there's a problem men have to think this thing through but she she ain't got nothing to worry about she's not afraid because w one thing that could happen is that even if they did get into a fight right what's she gonna do call up her 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 guy friends and be like hey come get this dude and now we got a bunch of men fighting over one woman who decided to get reckless and throw a water bottle. One woman get reckless can have a bunch of men in trouble. If he decided to get up and just charge her, all these men are fighting now. Over one woman saying something foolish and throwing water bottles at him. That's what I'm saying. And so women like this, you got to stay away from. I know Britney's pretty and I know Britney's got a nice body. And of course, a lot of men would do stuff with her, blah, 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 blah. But I'm telling you, men, for once, just open your eyes and stop getting mesmerized by these people who are this vicious. Because this kind of woman would get you caught up. This kind of woman would have you uh, come up to a McDonald's and get popped if y'all remember that story. This is the kind of woman who would say, shut, shut the fuck up to a man and expect you to come in and get your nice lot, get your li lights knocked out. This kind of woman ain't respecting no man. So anybody who wants to say that, oh, she's a hopeless romantic and she just, you hear how she's talking to the men? You don't think she's going to talk to her man like that, to her boyfriend like that? She's talking to grown men like this because she just want to be edgy. She just want to be sassy. That kind of stuff is ridiculous. It's the kind of stuff that's ridiculous. And I can't respect a woman like this. I absolutely cannot. Let's continue. What's up? See, she, see how she's saying it like she's a thug? This is what I'm talking about. She's saying it like, oh, I'm some thug on the street. What's up? What's up? You, you a thug now? You, you, you bang? You a thug now? You about to get out here and get, pull out the chopper? That was about to happen? You about to fight? You ain't about to do anything. You know darn well you're well protected talking about what's up? Now, see, this is what's wrong. I don't know. And people who do this for trolling and this content creating is just ridiculous. And that's why I say I agree once again with Abba when he said content creators can be some of the dumbest people. They, they get really locked up in this entertainment life. Right. And this is how you can tell they're not around regular people, man. They're not because you're not because she said that to another woman. Right. Let's be honest. Cardi B. Cardi B's known for getting wild. She says, what's up to Cardi B? It's a fight. It's on site. She said that to Cardi B. What's up? It's, it's a fight. She's saying this from a place of power knowing she can't be touched because these are all men. And, they, and these men are thinking, well, if I go in, I got to fight him and he's got to fight me. And so they're trying to calm it down because they, they know this is amongst men. This is now it's a man's problem because you made it a man's problem. And if I go in and I, I go over there and, it's, you know, if she says, what's up? And I go over there and say, what's up? Then let's do it. Everybody got to get in a fight. Now stuff gets pulled out. Now black eyes, head busted. Who knows? Somebody may pull out a knife. You know how men get when they get riled up. But she says, what's up? She wouldn't say that to Cardi, though. <laughs> I'm just saying. This is all jokes, guys. I'm not I'm not advocating for violence. All I'm saying is that it's, it's, you got to be careful. You've got to be careful who, when you talk to people because it can get a whole lot of people in trouble. These men can fight each other. But if she was saying that to somebody such as Cardi, who was known for that stuff, I don't know if she is anymore. I did see her throw the mic. She may. 
But if she was to say that to another woman, it would result in violence. I'm simply trying to say, Brittany, you got to be smarter than this. And even if this is just for content, I just don't understand why. Family. This is Charleston's people, not mine. She this is Charleston's she people. She no, we family. We he family. said you're all right. I ain't no fucking security, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Come on, tell him, tell him, tell him. Baby in my shit then. It's all good. Baby in my shit then. Come on. Then shut the fuck up. Chill, 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 chill. Let's relax, 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 relax. All right, let's reset the room. Let's reset the room, It is what it is. Let's reset the room, It is what it is. And this where it gets wild, though. Everybody cool, guys. Everybody cool. It is what it is. Family here, guys. Uh, shut right. the fuck up. Family here, guys. You don't, you don't like Brittany Renner. Brittany Renner. We f- and so, okay, that's where it just goes off the thing. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, show y'all another clip, and I'm going to have to be perfect on this. So you got to forgive me. I had to practice this a few times. I've seen this clip a million times, I swear. No, I've probably seen it about 25 times now. I'm watching it again. But for me to get it, I have to censor it because Britney does something that is would be sexual in nature. And I'm not trying to make the video sexual. I'm simply trying to show something. But this is the only clip we got. And I have to do it from the Danza Project. I don't want to do it from somebody else. But it's, it's quite interesting. So let me go ahead and get this for you guys. I didn't get nothing for that. Y'all hear it happening. Miss Renner, right. Miss Renner, Let me show you. It's uncomfortable to be wet. Is it? Yeah. I've never been wet before, but yeah, I'm sure it's uncomfortable it? to be wet. You know, moist is one thing, but wet is just another. Uh. It ain't it ain't it ain't what we shooting for. Yeah, that I mean. You ain't hear what? Isn't that? Miss 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 Ma'am. No. Ms. No, Ms. come on, man. please, come on, man, please. No, come I, on, I man, need please. You to, I need please. you to be kind and respectful Consent. to my oh, to my guests. Oh, boy, come on, man. <laughs> oh, okay. oh. Where that pig poker at, man? Go ahead, go ahead and get the pig poker out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. I didn't get nothing for that. Oh, oh man, please. Oh, that's... Oh, 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 wait a minute. Miss Renner, Miss... Miss Renner, Miss... It's on uncom- So, y'all can see right there, man, the disrespect that she continues to show. It's just beyond me, man. It's really beyond me. She throws water on the guy's mic. If y'all can... I, I can't replay it because I have to replay it from the top. But nonetheless, she throws water on the man's mic. On the man's mic. And then throws water on Charleston, who moved the mic out of the way. And she does this again in the uh, live stream where she gets on top of him and does all this sexual stuff. Brittany, you're 31 years old. Brittany, you're 31 years old. What are we doing at this point? Like, at what point do we finally grow up? You know what I'm saying? Watch it again. All right? Watch watch what happens. That, the part I have since it is her pretty much twerking on top of Charleston and I. I'm not going to show that. Y'all want to go watch it? That's cool. But watch this part. Had nothing to do with. She see what she does is get Charleston into it, and then she gets up and it immediately turns. Right here, throws water on top of the man's mic. You can see it dripping from right there. You can see it dripping. Listen, I don't know how much money these men are making, but if somebody was to get water on my mic, I know it probably wouldn't mess up immediately. But here's the thing: it's just like. Why disrespect the entire set for some content? Why disrespect the entire set for all of this? This is absolutely ridiculous coming from Brittany. Brittany, at some point in your life, you've got to grow. I, I, this is the problem with this social media fame. It, it really, and I'm not giving her an excuse, but at the same time, this is what it does to you. When you get known for shaking your booty on camera, or you're even if you're a man and you get known for doing outlandish stuff, it messes up your head. You think this is, you always have to be on when you see a camera. You don't. You could be a normal individual. She could have used these moments to be respectful. Instead, she used these moments to, and I can't even show y'all what she did to Charleston before this because she was showing her panties and everything, had her whole dress pulled up. You could see her coochie and all, right? And she's over here on Charleston. This is not a porn show. 
And that's another reason they probably took down a little bit of the live. They're probably going to upload it again and show it to you guys. But at the same time, that would be considered really sexual in nature. That's something you don't want to put up on YouTube and your podcast. YouTube is very crazy about this kind of stuff. I don't know what they're going to do if, the, if they'll put up that clip again. But it's just like, Brittany, you are supposed to be respectful on this man's podcast. And you decide to use this moment to pull up your dress and show your coochie to the world. Like this was a porn set. Like this was, <laughs> I so got, I gotta start learning to say corn. But like this was a corn set. We were doing all this kind of stuff. It's not, Brittany. You let me, man, man, I'm just, I don't understand what Brittany's motivation is. I don't understand what she's trying to do at this point. I thought after the Kevin Samuels thing, she would calm down, but then she went on the Andrew Tate thing, started talking the same. Her Instagram was pretty much the same. I tried to see, like, is she changing at all? at all no she's not she's not at all and so i'm trying to tell you guys listen i understand getting with these beautiful women people like me and probably you the average man can't get with a woman like britney she's obviously in another league okay i don't care that she's 31 i don't care about all that she's still an attractive woman and there's still going to be men who want to get with her but what i want to tell the men is the men who can get with this woman the women the uh, kind of men that she would attract if you get, and let me just say this, let me say it like this, guys who can get maybe not a woman who looks as great as Brittany, but a woman who you could get. If you see anything like what she does when she is telling people to shut up and she's telling she's calling people, telling people to come fight her and she's telling grown men, she's calling grown men, bitch, as y'all will see if y'all go watch that whole thing, if you want to. She'll say, shut up, bitch. And I'm sorry for my words, but I'm just letting you know what she said. If y'all hear a woman saying that to a man, that is a, a complete red flag. That already means she's disrespectful. She's probably aggressive. She's throwing water bottles. She's pouring water on grown men. If another man poured water on another man, especially on his expensive mics or something like that, you know there'd be some rumbling or he'd get his butt kicked out. They'd be like, oh, you got to go, big dog, because it's about to go down or something. But she does all this because she knows she's a woman and she can get away with it. I'm not saying all women are like this. I'm saying Britney is like this. Women like Britney are a problem. She, she tries to play it off like she's this hopeless romantic girl, but she is just like the rest of these women who act like this. Right? Women who act like this are bad. Stay away. I promise you. I promise you. I've been through it. Women like this, they don't get better. They don't tend to get better. They tend to get more reckless as time goes on. <sighs> let me know, Drew. No, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm gone. Peace.